Well, yesterday we were pairing wines with snacks. And what about wine with hip hop songs? Yeah, Jermaine Stone, host of the original Wine and Hip Hop podcast, decided to merge the two worlds. He joins us now from New York to walk us through some of the pairings. Thanks so much for being here. Oh, uh, the pleasure is all mine. Thank you for having me. And so thank you for sending the and, wine. Yes, and thank you for sending the wine, of course. Uh, where did you come up with the idea to do wine and hip hop? Well, you know, I grew up in the Bronx, New York. I was always, I grew up around hip hop. I was submerged in hip hop. I rapped in my teenage years. So when I, as I graduated college, I got into the wine industry. You know, started out just simply packing boxes for a wine auction house. I fell in love with the culture from there. And, you know, things developed. I later on started my own company, developed, dedicated to blending wine and hip hop on the highest levels. You know, we do consultation for different brands. We also uh, have a, a several different forms of media, our podcasts, several YouTube shows. And then we combine all of, that, all of those with the wine, those shows at an event. That's so cool. it's a lot. Uh, yeah, well, we know a lot of the artists actually have their own brands. You know, Snoop Dogg has his yeah. brand. Wu-Tang, we know, now has a brand. I mean, yeah. I even think Jay-Z got off into the whole Champagne and Diddy and, and, and everybody. So it's obviously a natural pairing. It's just not one that comes first to mind. Is that fair to say? 100%. And so many rappers are also talking about really cool and high-end wines in their songs. You know, Nas recently talked about Lafitte which, you know, in the yeah. U.S. average is around $1,000 a bottle. Like, rappers are really getting into wine culture, which is really cool. All, All right, right, what so are we starting with? Okay, so our first wine is the Zardetto Prosecco Brew. Okay. Now, okay. this is available at Benny's right there in Chicago. It's from Italy, it's Prosecco, of course, vibrant, refreshing, carefully selected grapes right from the hilltops of the region. Really bright, refined bubbles, fresh citrus and floral notes. But the thing I like most about this bottle is the packaging. Now, it has this cool label that reveals like a hidden message. Ah in Italian translated into English. So I have this, and when I think Prosecco, I think brunch, you know, Sunday, cool, easy breezy Sunday brunch. So I paired this with a song that was easy breezy and cool. You know, a big part of pairing wines with hip hop is where do I want to enjoy this wine? Will the wine uplift the setting that I'm drinking it in? Now, the song choice is I Used to Love about Common. Common. Mm -hmm. Chicago Boy. A, a, a Chicago, Chicago legend. Gotta go with Common. Now, I went with this song because it sounds, on face value, it sounds like he's talking about a woman that he was in love with and went through some issues with. And in the end of the song, he reveals that it's actually hip hop. Yep. Yeah. Because I like to play this at Sunday brunch, and it has a hidden message. It's like the wine. I'm gonna go with Common I Used to Love. I used to awesome. love All right. And it's really good. <laughs> It is good, yeah. All right, what's the next one? Amazing. So our next wine is the Villa Maria Private Ben Sauvignon Blanc from 2020. Mm -hmm. You know, it's from New Zealand. Uh, it's from the Marlboro region of New Zealand, the largest and most well-known uh, region in the wine growing region in the country. It's a young wine, so it's very fresh and vibrant. You know, aromas of like lemongrass and jalapeno peppers and fresh herbs on the, on the nose. On the palate, you have fresh, ripe, crisp, and citrus and tropical notes. So it's lively in acidity. I needed something that was lively with some cool tropical notes. Now, where do I want to enjoy this wine? Sauvignon Blanc, one of my rules is when I go to a restaurant, if I'm not familiar with the wine list, go for the Sauvignon Blanc. Mm -hmm. That's smart, music, yeah. If you don't know what to get, go with Drake. So I went with Drake, <laughs> one dance because it has that tropical flavor with it, you know? Yeah. Similar to the wine. Okay, I'm feeling it. Yeah, it does. And I'm feeling it. Nice little vibe, you yeah. know? I, I see y'all dancing yeah, in the studio, it. it's okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, and I noticed we started with the white because when you're drinking wine, you should go from white to red, right? Because the red yeah. is so overpowering. Absolutely, and you get those wine teeth. You don't yeah, want the wine right? teeth. Okay. Not at the beginning of the night, save that for the yeah. end of the night. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you know? Okay, so then we have the, uh, our next one is the uh, Bodegas Borsal Tres Pecos Garnacha okay. from Capo de Borja. Capo de Borja is in northern Spain. It's well known for their garnacha. And, you know, uh, they've been working for a long time to really become a benchmark of the region. Uh, Tres Pecos is the flagship of the winery. It's 100% garnacha. And it comes from the mountains of, uh, from the mountains 
in northern uh, in northern Spain. Um, now, because it's on the mountains, they have like vines, old vines, like 35 to 60 years old. Very powerful, rich wine. You know, taste of dark fruit, vanilla, and leather. So I wanted to go with something a little old school. We got old vines. I had to go with some old vines. Mm. Now we, we in Chicago, so I got to rep another Chicago native, the Brat. Yes. You know, I yeah. went with the deep side, featuring the notorious Big, because he's also known for juicy, and this wine is oh so juicy. Like oh, it is. I love it. Glass, perfect. Now, if you notice, like what I'm. I'm trying to do is bring a vibe. I'm trying yes. to match the vibe of the wine with the match of, with the vibe of the sauce. Mm -hmm. Very important. Well, this last one we really love because the bottle's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, the bottle's gorgeous, and guess what? The wine tastes even better. Ooh, <laughs> let me hear if it gets up. Woo! <laughs> so this is Licata um, from Italy in Emilia Romagna, created by Raekwon, the chef from Wu Tang. Wu Tang. It's an wine. Raekwon actually traveled all the way to Italy. Ooh. He touched the hands of the growers. He designed the bottle, and he, um, you know, he designed the flavor profile for the wine. He's not a winemaker, so he didn't make the wine, but he said what he wanted the wine to taste like, and uh -huh. he trusted people to make sure that that happened. Oh, I you know, you can see unexpected. It's deep, it's deep in purple. Yeah. His first album was the purple taste. Ah, <laughs> you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, not just that. You know, you got off dry notes of red berries, lilac. Smooth, velvety texture, great for the holidays. And at all the holiday dinners, I like to have a good story. Yeah. So this with Ray Kwan's Marvin, uh, which is an amazing story where he wrapped from the perspective of Marvin Gaye, from birth all the way up until he was killed. Mm. Um, so it does have some darkness. So I did want to add the dark, the wine to make sure the wine was a little bit dark. But at the same time, it's a beautiful song. It's a beautiful wine. And this is actually all of the other wines that I've mentioned are available at Benny's. This is the Licata is actually available at many Chicago retailers as well as Juice 1340. Um, and they're going to be hosting a Licata Lounge event on November 30th. So okay. for Licata playing Wu Tang is going to be a great yeah, this oh, is good. This is so fun. This, this is one's really so fun, and no one would ever think yeah. to do this. So we definitely got to check out that hip hop and wine podcast, man. You got something going here. You really got. Really you fun. put something on the brain. You make it seem a thing. That is my life. I am wine and hip hop. I love okay. it. Thank you so much for joining us, Tremaine. And thank you for sending the wine. We appreciate it. Oh, delicious. The pleasure's all mine. Many more bottles on the way. All right. All right. Cheers. Thank you.